Hi, my name is Sam Cusimano and welcome to Electricity for Progress. Today we're going to be exploring biodata sonification with this quick start guide for my new version 5 Bluetooth biodata sonification system. It's really easy to connect this device to your plants using uh, some sticky electrodes and uh, these little uh, snap clips. Now when you go to put electrodes on your plant leaves, you want to snap the uh, leads onto the clips uh, first because you don't want to end up crushing the plant leaf while you're uh, attaching these electrodes. You'll notice that the sticky part uh, is actually, it's easy to clean with soap and water and these are reusable. Um, and you simply apply two of these either to one leaf of a plant or to two different leaves of your plant. Try different things. Um, once you have your electrodes connected, you'll see there are two uh, ports on the biodata sonification device. They look like headphone jacks, but neither of them output audio. Uh, the green jack is what we attach the electrodes to. So you can take the little jack on the end of the sticky electrodes and put it in the green jack. The black jack is used for MIDI. It's a uh, type A for hardware to connect to synthesizers. Uh, but today we're going to be trying to use Bluetooth. As well, we have a micro USB connector. This is used to recharge the battery or to reprogram the Adafruit ESP32 feather board. That's the brains of this operation. Uh, without the electrodes plugged in, if we flick the power switch out uh, to the left, you'll see a little light show, meaning the device is on. And then here, the blue light turns on. Uh, the device tells you what mode it's in. Uh, it always outputs hardware MIDI out of the black MIDI type A jack. Uh, when the blue lights up on boot up, that tells you that Bluetooth mode is on and you can connect the device to your phone or your computer to make music. Uh, today we're going to be trying to connect to an iPhone. I'm going to plug in the jack into the green port and there we go, the device lights up right away. I'm connected down here to my snake plant. Uh, I'm going to slide in my iPhone and uh, turn it on. Uh, I'm going to use the Animoog app. Uh, there's a bunch of different apps that you can use. Uh, Synthesizers, Animoog, I believe is a free app. There's a new version of it, which is really, really killer. So from the uh, Animoog app, unlike connecting to many Bluetooth devices, you have to connect MIDI Bluetooth through one of your uh, applications, a synthesizer app. So here I'm just going to go to the setup page and I'm going to click on the Bluetooth button here in the MIDI settings. See Biodata 1013 listed there. That's the number of this specific device. Each of the Biodata sonification devices will have a different number associated with it. So you can potentially have multiple devices connected to a single computer or phone. I'm going to connect to the Biodata 1013 device. Now it says connected. And now I'm going to come back here. And then again, in the MIDI uh, inputs, I'm going to tap on that. Now the device is going to use the Biodata sonification device as its input. All right. Now I'm going to go back to the modules. Let me turn the volume up on the iPhone, and you should be able to hear music. As I adjust the knob on the Biodata sonification device, I can adjust the sensitivity of the electrodes, giving us a slower, fewer notes. By default, the device puts out a chromatic scale, meaning any of the normal 12 notes could be output. But there are settings in the device to allow us to change to a specific scale, uh, for instance, a minor scale, to make more of a pleasant sound. Uh, stay tuned for the next video on biodata sonification to see how we can modify our MIDI settings for MIDI channels, uh, our different scale settings, and how to turn on and off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi mode. Uh, so stay tuned. Thank you very much. Have a good day.